When teenagers in Louisville are arrested, there's no longer a place here in Louisville for police to take them. But a new proposal proposed facility would change all that. Tonight, the Metro Council Budget Committee approved $3 million for a youth transfer processing center. It's part of more than $42 million in public safety funding included in the second round of the American Rescue Plan funds. Other highlights include $89 million for homelessness and affordable housing and $28.3 million to provide premium pay for essential employees. WHS 1119's Isaiah Kim Martinez takes a closer look now at how this new facility would work and why not everybody you found Isaiah is on board on this. Well, Doug, for almost two years now, the sign in front of Louisville's youth detention building downtown essentially serving no purpose. It shut down to budget cuts to start 2020. Now the city has made leeway on an alternative. The question many are asking, is this the right route to go? What can't be argued is the violence affecting Louisville's youth. This year alone, LMPD data showing 21 people under 18 years old shot and killed, and at least six of the shooting suspects known are teenagers. Retired youth juvenile court judge David Holton knows the numbers. The murders both being committed by juveniles and also murders of juveniles. But where folks generally draw the line is whether they believe bringing back a youth detention facility will help. What actually that money is going to be spent on. Monday night, the Budget Committee approved $3 million in ARP funds over three years for a youth transfer processing center where kids in custody can wait, supervised, until a judge determines next steps. For months, the oversight has been police officers' responsibility, taking them away from patrol for hours at a time, offenders being taken to the nearest youth detention facility. And the mayor and the Metro Council need to fix this problem. The goal is to hire five court-sworn officers to do the job instead, freeing up police. So rather than having the officer sit with the kids for four or six hours. There needs to be a place to take them like there used to be. Right now, the closest alternative is Louisville Day Treatment, 20 minutes from downtown, state run with limited space. Any others are outside Jefferson County, potentially far away from family. It's not just an issue, it's a crisis. Terry Brooks leads Kentucky Youth Advocates. He believes just creating another holding facility is risky. Easy solutions do not solve complex problems. Brooks is afraid intervention efforts will be an afterthought. Get to the heart of what's going on with you. How can we put you on the right path? What about career, technical, or school supports? He suggests reformative justice and youth development centers to be better long-term fixes. And LMPD data show so far this year, 86 non-fatal shootings of minors. That's obviously given the pending information tonight. That's already surpassing 2020's total. Now the full Metro Council will vote on the proposal Thursday. In the studio, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 1119 on your side.